Hello and welcome back. We're now going to see how we customize multi-level lists. These lists are available for equipment, notifications, functional locations, and work orders, among others. Multi-level lists are used to define which fields are to be displayed for which objects. To illustrate how multi-level lists are used, we are going to use functional location. The same process can be used for other technical objects such as equipment, notifications, and work orders. The customizing path is SPRO, then IMG, Plant Maintenance and Customer Service, Master Data in Plant Maintenance and Customer Service, Technical Objects, Functional Locations, and finally to field selection for multi-level list displays. So we go ahead and open that. And here we have fields that we can customize. For this particular illustration, we are going to customize the fields for measuring point and counters. So we go ahead and open. We have the first column which is field description and then we have the second column which is display position this is the position at which the field is to appear in our case measuring point will be at position one we're going to have a description at position two we have counters at position five by default items without an item number are not displayed so none of these fields will be displayed so if you want a field to be displayed then you have to assign a number to against it so the second column or the third column is invisible column this column defines whether the field is invisible for user specific design in other words, when a field is invisible, a user cannot select it for their variant. So if we have description as invisible and a user tries to create a variant, they cannot be able to select that particular field. One thing that I would also want to mention is that when designing individual layouts users can make changes to this field here they can reassign their measuring points to a different number they can make it number three or number two and they can also be able to delete uh, that particular any field that they want to get out of their layout so that is how we customize multi-level lists. Now that we have done, we are done with generic functions and setups, we are going to move on to the next topic, which, which will be structuring of technical objects. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. And please remember to subscribe to my channel.